What's up everybody? Welcome to week one Wednesday or as we like to call it Wow He said it I like it. <laughs> All right guys Graham is out vacationing with family this week They're up in miscellaneous mountains north of us here in Utah. So Kyle is here. What's up guys? I'm stoked to have Kyle on he always has a great uh, insight on knives and I I keep telling everybody here this, but we are gonna do a Kyle's knife collection. Kyle's knife collection is probably one of the most flex collections I've ever seen, I've ever. Been, I've been told that once before. A hundred percent, it will shock you guys. Probably not as much as Timote's though. Okay, oh, Mote has the ultimate flex <laughs> in the building. He really does. That. Kyle is number two. So we're gonna get one of those videos going, but first off, we are here because we sponsors this video. Not we, but We Knives. We Knives Knife sponsors the video, and they're really cool about it because they allow us to have this show. We get to talk about whatever knives we want, and then they give us a sweet knife to give away to a lucky winner of one of you guys watching. So, we will get to that in the end. Kyle, what do we have going on here? What's the plan? Knife Olympics. Knife Olympics. Okay, so uh, <laughs> categories. We have different categories. There's Correct. five different categories. Um, what we're going to do is I have the first category. It's OTFs. So I'm going to grab these OTFs. I'm going to talk specs and hand them over to Kyle. Now, Kyle's job is to look at those knives, hear the things, and calculate in his brain where he thinks they should go in the uh, this award ceremony buckets with Kefefe in there. Kefefe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kyle said he ate a coffee bean once. Chocolate and I was like, coffee beans aren't bad. It's. I'm gonna get you some. No, I don't want it. I you don't want. want it. I don't. Guys, also remember we are down in the comments, so jump in the comments if you guys want shout outs or tell us what's in your pocket, what you're carrying, or if you think we get it wrong, let's let, hear in the comments. Let me know. Let me know, right? So let's just jump in. You Do ready? It. I'm ready. All right, guys, first uh, category is OTFs. Like I said, first knife on the table is the Microtech Ultratech. Now, this one is in a beautiful blue color with the uh, dagger blade sharp on both sides here. It's got your actuator right here. You know, your typical thumb ramp, deep carry pocket clip. It's a Microtech, guys. It's LMAX steel. Uh, it's a little over a three inch blade. Uh, you got a flat grind here on the blade, uh, aluminum case on the scales. This one, Price is at $308. Now, made in the USA. Now, next on the table is the Piranha Rated R. Now, this is a really cool knife. It's 154 CM steel in this aluminum casing for the scales. It's got a, not quite a deep carry pocket clip, but these things are cool. I think, I feel like Piranha's been around forever and they're kind of an under, like not an underdog, but they, they fly under the radar. They really do. And they're dope. Yeah. They make like cool stuff. Some of their automatics are great. Right? Dude. What else can I tell you about this? Um, clip point blade, flat grind, $329 on the website. Okay. Last OTF, and then we will get to judging. Oh boy. What do you think? I'm excited, dude. I'm excited to see what you're gonna say because I have a very strongish opinion. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Last OTF on the table is the Guardian Tactical Recon 035. Now, we have the same here with the aluminum casing for the scales. Uh, this one you get almost a deep carry pocket clip. It's close enough for me in my books. It really is. It really I, is. It does go right, right up to the, the butt of that knife, so it's right. really nice. So yeah, actuator, it's really cool. 
Um, these have Elmac, this one has Elmac steel. It's a 3.3 and a quarter inch blade. 3.3. 3.3. Inch blade, not quarter. 3.375. It's a good size. Exactly. If it's not that exactly, I don't want it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, guys. Guardian Tactical also is made in the USA. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to hand these over. Kyle, think about it. Talk about it. Now, am I going gold, silver, bronze, or am I going to go bronze, silver, gold? Uh, bronze, right? I mean, I think bronze. What do, I don't know. What do you think? What do you guys think? Yeah, we're going Levi bronze. says bronze, so we're going to hit bronze. All right. So it might be a little biased just because I own a Microtech and a Guardian Tactical. And I, I love them both. Guys, I don't even know why we're here anymore. It's skewed. It's completely skewed. I'm putting him for bronze. Okay. I still like the Pranas. They make really oh, good yeah. knives. For sure. All right. What's silver? Silver. I mean, Microtech. Ooh. Okay. Okay. And gold will be the Guardian Tactical Recon. And the reason is... Yeah, I was going to say, i got to have a reason on that. The switch on the Guardian Tacticals are so much smoother. You don't have to, like, you, there's no, like, stop or pull waiting for that kind of, like, trigger pull, I guess you can say, right. right? There's no wall. You just push it all the way through, and it just pops right out. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, sometimes automatics, when you're pushing that actuator forward, you'll feel it kind of, like catch on the material. It doesn't slide very well. It doesn't glide. The Guardian Tactical actually has ball bearings. Yeah, it's right there underneath that switch. Yeah. So, okay. And so there's like, yeah, little, little to no resistance on that. And so I have the Guardian Tactical 25. So a little bit smaller than this one. Right. And it's really nice because even like, like my little sister, when she's playing with it, she can actually get it out. Where my Microtech, she can't get out. Right. Oh yeah. Microtech, you gotta be I have some you gotta mean it. Thumbs. You gotta mean it for sure. So yeah, I, I think it's well deserved a nice gold medal right there. I like it. You know, we've had these are two two big name knives that have been around forever. They really have. They really have. Microtech. I I have a Utex eighty five, but the Garden Tactical tends to get in my pocket a little bit more often. Okay. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. We have a gold winner, and it is the Guardian Tactical Recon 35. I used to have one. I gave uh, mine to my brother in Colorado, and so I hope he's enjoying it. Thanks, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> what a nice brother. Seriously. I wish I had a brother that gave me knives. Yeah, I wish I had a brother that gave me knives. <laughs> we should get new brothers. I'm, dude, where can I go and get a brother? Um, maybe... Elden Tally. That's who I want to be my knife brother. Knife brothers. That's what we're starting to think, calling knife brothers. Heck yeah, he's my homeboy. All right. Oh, let me, while you're pulling those out, let me jump in the comments. Let's see, here's a couple shout outs. William Tool. Tool. Would love a shout out. Thanks for everything you guys do. I'm carrying the Civiti Pintail in S35 VN Steel. Awesome, dude. Will, that's that's nice. I like the pintail a lot. Jackson Neal, pocket check. I'm carrying a Moore Knife 511, mm. a CRKT Squid Blade ex Blade HQ exclusive, and the QSP Penguin. Dude, the Penguin. To the Penguin, dude. The pen the QSP line in general, like that, they're underrated. Those they're knives are dope. I I buy. So I'm a buyer here at Blade HQ, right? And I buy for QSP and. You guys should pay attention to this. Kyle is a buyer here at Blade HQ. So if there's cool things or brands or whatever new. Some exclusive you want to see? Yeah. Something I don't have? Let us right? know in the comments. Yes. Let's get it in here. Let's get all the cool stuff. I love it. But yeah, the penguin flies. It, it's, it's crazy. That No, penguins don't fly. They fly. No, they don't. <laughs> I promise you they don't, Kyle. <laughs> Off the shelves. They no. fly off the shelf. Oh, okay. Maybe. Do you push them <laughs> off the shelf? Yeah. Because that's what I imagine. You're a pretty bad person. Little penguins push them off. I'm just kidding. Okay, we got a couple more. Braden Beal. First time watching WoW live. Shout out would be awesome. Braden Beal. 
Hello and welcome. Shout out. Okay, we got a couple more, but I think we should jump into the next category. We're going to fix blades. Fix blades. Can I interrupt real quick? Yes. So everybody loves your haircut, man. Thanks, bro. Thanks, thanks, guys. I mean, look at that fade. Mm. Looking dope. <laughs> and then we always need a thumb update. Always. Okay, the thumb update. Hope you get in there nice and close, Carson. Guys, I've actually seen it without the wrapping and stuff. It's kind of nasty. It is gross. So um, just a quick recap, quick recap so we can get back to some knives. So I smashed my thumb with a large hammer and uh, it was a total <laughs> accident. It was dark outside. All of the like Murphy's Law things slapped me in the face and said, you're stupid. <laughs> but I smashed my thumb with a hammer and it pulled my nail off my thumb like karate chop. I broke my nail bed in half. I uh, mm. broke the tip of my bone off. Um, my top of my thumb was just kind of like <laughs> splat a little bit. But it's been a few weeks, uh, four weeks, five weeks. I don't know how many weeks it's been now, but it is healing and it's healing actually a lot better than what I thought. So the bone didn't grow back together. So I have a floating bone in the tip of my thumb. That's cool. So hopefully when I can actually touch this without crying my eyes out, I'll have a neat little trick and we can all feel the little, little wiggly bone. You know, I'll touch Blade the Show 2022. Come feel the wiggly bone. <laughs> come, come touch Kurt's thumb. <laughs> but it is, <laughs> it's definitely, smashed it's definitely healing um, my nail is actually starting to grow back i think it's going to look more like a troll's toenail at first where it's all bumpy and weird <laughs> but hopefully uh after a year i'm hoping i'll It'll have come a, back to normal i'll have a passable thumb instead of a troll toe <laughs> troll, toe. <laughs> troll that, toe and the ham come on to. man <laughs> it's rough it's rough out here but yeah, it is, uh, it's healing. I can throw some photos up on my Instagram later on and give you guys a better update. But let's like get it. back to knives. Knives. All right, let's go to fixed blades. Kirk, I know you like fixed blades. <sighs> I love fixed blades. <laughs> All right, so the first fixed blade that I got is the Essie Izula. Okay. okay. Right? Yeah. So you got your nice little sheath. Nice, perfect EDC carry type thing. You go up. Scout carry, anything you want, right? I like the skeletonized. Oh yeah, you also got some scales if you want more handle to grab onto. I do like that so actually. That's versatile, right? Okay. We are, we are rocking 1095 steel with a drop point blade. This does have a coating on it. Do you know what the coating is on this? Uh, you know, I'm not sure the coating, I know that it's, uh, it's kind of like a powder coating. That's what I would assume. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they do that because the, 1095. The 1095, it helps prevent any kind of rust or whatevs. Yeah. Miscellaneous so, minerals. But yeah, definitely, yeah, a great all around easy fixed blade, especially for a fixed blade. I like it. I like that knife a lot, actually. And this guy right now is running on the website for 59.95. Okay. So that's the first one. What an excellent contender. It's, I feel like I've been watching the Olympics so much that I just want to be like, and now she goes to the floor routine. <laughs> and now we go to the nice black sheet. The men's 200 meter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we have the Benchmade Puko. Oh, I know you like your Puko. I know, I do <laughs> like my Puko. So you got a nice leather sheath. What's kind of like the, the hang. The dangler. The dangler. I like the dangler. This one you have CPM 3V steel, which is, I think it's perfect for a fixed blade. Right? Especially a bushcraft style oh, yeah. fixed blade. Like this right here, this blade thickness is great. Even as, since it is like a smaller smaller blade, like you're still gonna be able to do everything you want bushcraft wise. Yeah. Nice thick, is this like a polymer? No. They call it something. Santoprene? Santoprene. I knew that. I knew that is that's that how you pronounce it? <laughs> is that <laughs> it's, it's a rubberized texture. <laughs> rubberized texture. Everybody really has good. their own special name for that kind of stuff. Oh, They're yeah. like, dang it, they called it rubber? Well, this is Santa <laughs> But didn't you take yours and cut this off? 
I did. I cut the handle off the first day. And what'd you put on it? My car to scales. I remember seeing that. It looks yep. really nice. Yep, I have it somewhere. It's out in the drawer somewhere in the office. Laying around? Yeah, it's kicking around. In your toolbox of knives? Toolbox of knives, that is correct. <laughs> yeah, overall length on this is gonna be 8.25 with a blade length of 3.75. So, yeah. Still How much is that bad boy gonna run This guy's you? running you 127.50. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. But you get Benjamin's warranty, all the good things. And you also have a little spot for a little ferro rod if you Ooh, need that like too. Like a little fire starter. Yeah. Or a couple Q-tips. I don't know what you'd need them for. You, you never know. Out in the forest <laughs> after you jump in a lake. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now this one was to throw you off. Bring it's it. It's, it's, Bring it's it. not, not super popular, but it's a behemoth of a knife. Oh, this oh. is the Winkler Knives Survival Striker. Dude, now that's a knife. Do you see? I don't know if you guys <laughs> can see this on the camera, but like the blade thickness. What's the blade thickness? It's as thick Point, as my thumb. Point three five blade thickness. Point. That's more than a quarter inch for those of you who are counting. Like, that's, that's wild, dude. That's insane. That's a big knife. Look at that chimping. Yeah. You're definitely going to get on there, have a lot to grab onto, right? Do you want to know the cool thing about this one? Teach me. So on the sheath, you actually have this like little screwdriver on there, right? Yeah. Well, if you look at the handles, you actually can take the handles off, and guess what's inside? A ferro rod. Oh, that's and better than steel, what I was thinking. And some steel wool. Oh, dude, are you serious? Yeah. Dude, that's freaking rad. So, super cool. You can, and if you want to, you can store other things in there. You know? Well, it, it makes sense. It's gotta have probably like a skeletonized hole on the inside because the steel's so thick. Mm -hmm. It's a little miscellaneous cavity you could put items in. Yeah. So we're at, Winkler generally uses, on most of their knives, is the 80, 80CRV2 steel. Okay. Flat grind, black stone wash, yeah, fire starter inside, and the fire starter inside, and you also got the kind of like that green micarta. Mm. This guy's running you 465 right now. Oh, but I think it's definitely worth it. One, it's a Winkler. Like he make they make some really good stuff. Dude. All right. Okay. So it's all you. Put that guy over there. I'm excited. Love the Azula. It's a great knife, as he makes great products. I personally like it better with the scales on it, but really giving it the bronze. Now, I feel like this is the athlete that just performs every year. You know, it's beautiful, and they're they're like multiple gold gold medalists type things. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. But this is like the Usain Bolt that comes out of nowhere and is like a beast. It really is a beast. And it's like multi-purpose. You got some cool stuff inside. All right, guys. I'm doing it. <gasps> oh, boy. I'm doing it. The Winkler takes the gold just like for it. the fact that it is the thickest fixed blade I think I've ever seen with probably the coolest hidden compartment on the inside. Yeah. Um, I wish that we weren't live, so we could just like flash you an image of what it looks like when it's uh, open. But maybe we'll figure that out later as we're doing other things. Guys, I think this is how it should go. Uh, Azula is great. It's a little small for me personally with a fat handle, so I'm giving it the bronze. The Puko is a beast. You can use it for all kind of bushcrafting, outdoors, whatever, hunting, any application. V3 steel, it's killer. But this Winkler, it's a big one. So I would have done this, this guy down here though. Dear Santa. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna take him down. And you can do some shout outs. Yes, yes. You take him down. Do some shout outs. Let us know what you guys think. If I did them wrong, let me know in the comments, and I will. Approach okay. those comments carefully. Those sheaths. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! I can't. I can't even explain to you guys how happy I am to be 
live with you guys and it's just cruising and we're rolling. I love it. And honestly, I'm so stoked that you're here, Kyle. It's fun to be here, man. Heck yeah. Okay, couple more shout outs. Uh, William Jackson. I have the Blade HQ exclusive M4 smock. Ooh, mm. and the Spidey Chef. Dang, yeah. boy, flexing. Ruben cries. Cr with a K. He's not crying. <laughs> Carrying a Kaiser Genie, one of my favorites. Such an underrated knife. That is a good knife, actually. Uh, Michael Daniels carrying the Civivi Elementum with all of Yeah. Micarta. Okay, one more. Uh, Christopher. He loved Axe Banter. Give a shout out to the lefties buying knives. I'm a lefty. He's a southpaw. He's a southpaw. You guys have probably noticed that. Oh, he's put my knives up here and I'm always holding it like this. Yeah. It probably looks funny. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know how he got through the hiring process. It was weird. <laughs> guys, uh, we just had to, we just got some white out on paper type of thing. He was too cool to not, they, they got rid of not them. keep. So whatever. thanks. I appreciate it. South pause. I, I have respect a little bit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have respect for South pause. Okay. Moving on to the next category. We are going into the EDC category. Now this is flippy folders, folder flippies, slip joints, whatever. I have three that I have picked here that I think should be on the podium of buckets. Okay, the Civivi Knox. Let's talk about this beauty first. Now this thing, if you are on Instagram and you follow people like Best Damn EDC and a handful of other of my homies there on the on the gram. These guys have been representing this knife a lot. It is very popular right now. Here's a half. It is trending, as some people might say. I won't say that though, but it's trending. It's the hype. <laughs> it's the hype. <laughs> guys, this is a sick knife. It's the Civivi Knox. It's got Nitro V steel. It's a two and three quarter inch super slicey hollow grind blade and you get the stainless steel uh, scales here with the deep carry pocket clip. Now, the best thing about this knife, $63.75 on the website. Nitro V. Nitro V. I like Nitro V. Some good steel. Nitro V is great. So, that is the first contender. Contender. <laughs> Guys, we need to have a talk. It's not just because it's me that there's a bug out on the table. It's kind of your fault too, really. It's one of our best sellers. It really is. Here's what we're gonna do. Benchmade mini bug out, black, 136 on the website. How about that? There you go. <laughs> there you go. That feels good to a little bit. A little bit of people out there that are like, oh boy. And this one is the mini though. It's the so mini. It's not the standard it's one. It's not the OG. It's the mini. We passed on We're the on. paperwork. Okay. We're going. Chris Reeves, small Sabenza 31. Look at mm. this beauty. Now, to be 100% honest, this is Andrew's knife. I don't know Andrew, but he purchased this knife and it's on the shelf, ready to go to his Casa de la Noche. <laughs> and this here is his personal knife. So we're gonna make sure it's all beautified and cleaned. I don't wanna like touch it, handle it a lot too much, but this is the small Sabenza. It is S45 VN steel, drop point blade, hollow grind with the rough, not rough, it's like almost like a sandblasted texture yeah. of titanium here. So it definitely gives it some more grip. Yes, and then the titanium pocket clip with the frame lock. Mm. Now, that one runs $375 on the website. Kyle? All right, that's some tough take, contenders. Take your pick. Because I have a mini bug out. Ooh, me too. I, I like it, because one, it's so versatile. Because, I mean, we already went over that I'm a southpaw. Yeah. Right? And so it works both don't, ways for me. Dude, don't piss these people off, I know. I'm just They're, saying. It works so well. I know. For these I know. 
anything. Ambidextrous, guys. Ambidextrous. That is what is but handy. Because of the popularity, maybe. It's going right here. I did it. I did it. <laughs> so now we're left with these two. I feel sick. I feel sick. I want to go home. This one has a great action. I love nice great action. It's actually really slim. What was it? Like under three inch blade, right? Yeah. Two and three quarter inch. Deep mm. pocket clip. There's a lot of good things about this knife. So $67. He's taking silver. And then it hurt me that you put that knife in backwards. I wanted to show the pocket clip. No, not really. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'll switch it. OCD? No. And going for the gold. Ah. Uh, Chris Reeve Sabenza. Guys, let's be honest. This is the Michael Phelps of the EDC knife world. Just the tolerances alone. I really like like everything. I can pull out probably five different Chris Reeve knives and they'll all be the same. It's the most clean looking, normal freak of knife nature that is out there. Mm, you know what the sad thing is? What? I don't have a Chris Reeve in my collection. Me neither, dude. Are you I kidding think, me? I think we need to get on that. You guys need to stop buying them all so I can get my hands on one. You're right. I mean, I, that <laughs> really, there was a really cool uh, option for a blade show. I saw Tim. That was the one with, uh, what was that? The plywood. It was plywood. It was plywood, right? That was blade show. Yeah, they yeah. used straight up OSB plywood. <laughs> And it was because here in this area, plywood has like skyrocketed. Like you can't find it. It's super expensive. And I thought that was probably the biggest flex on no, everything. It was, it was good. Uh, yeah. That I was, saw that at Blade Show. I was like, okay, I see you. I, I see like, you. I was like, what is this? Is this is like some fancy wood <laughs> and take a closer look at it. Yeah. OSB. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that one. That one is sick. Right. That was well placed. I agree with you that it's it so well clean. Placed. It's so Frick, clean. Freaking thing of beauty, guys. Okay, I am jumping back in the comments. Now, just a reminder, we after we go through these last two categories, we have a giveaway to do. So hang tight, guys. Three knives. All right, let me jump back in. We have got Oh man. Is there a lot? It's it updated and in, in not the same order. Oh great. Jason Southwick, shout out, please. I'm carrying my flytanium bug out today. Represent. Bug out. Uh Stefan Sparks, can I get a shout out today? I'm carrying Kershaw Leak in carbon fiber, CPM 154, and a lynch clip. Ooh. That is nice. Little little touches. Lynch clip. Yeah, I like that. Stuff. It is the details. Mm. Yeah, it is. Ashton Beals, carrying my Benchmade Griptilian and love it. It's pretty good. Uh, I, this name, guys, Flemish Lion. Flemish Lion. Uh, got the Boker Plus Automatic Black Widow. I like that. Andrew Arnold, I got the Mini Bug Out CF Elite. Mm. That's what you need. Guys, keep jumping in the comments. Let us know what's in your pocket. Let us know how you're doing. And we're going to keep going into the next category. Kurt, can we let them know there's going to be an extra little special something at the end oh, of this on top of the giveaway? Oh, dude. You want to know what I love? I love dessert. That's all I have to say. Pay attention. I love dessert. Well, we got some cheesecake today. <gasps> it's not the same. Just saying. Cheesecake it's, is good, though. That's good cheesecake. Well, let's be honest. Cheesecake. Okay, are you up? I think I am up. Got the last, I got the Automax and you got the last, yes, last section. Yes, that's right. Okay, All right, so let's, get let's, in here. let's let her go. So now we're going to automatic knives, push button, automatics. This might look weird for everybody because it's gonna be with my index finger, so. That's weird. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> in the background, the cricket sound, right? <laughs> All right, we got the ProTech SBR. All right, Les George design. Love, love with his designs as well as we got S35 on this and it is a 2.6 inch blade. All right? You had me at 0.6. <laughs> the, the, the deep carry pocket flip on this is crazy. 
Because this goes flush. The screws, nothing comes up. So I like how it slides into I the I love that, actually. It's, That's huge. That is a nice detail. More people should be doing that. That... This is winning. They really should. That's that's winning, guys. And then you got Protex nappy action, like it kicks. Can I open it? I'm sorry. It probably <laughs> I know it looks weird. See that looks normal. Okay, I feel better now. All right, I'll put I'll put that over there. All right, we can we next we have the Kershaw Launch 11. Ooh. We are Oh, I didn't mention the price on that one, but you're probably around like what? I'd say like $130. <laughs> Check the website. <laughs> I threw the paper too soon, guys. Oh, I've done that so many times, you have no idea. Oh, that's you, funny. you just get into it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so now we're moving on here, Kurt. All right, I'm ready. <clears throat> Kurt yep. shot Launch 11 automatic knife. We have a 2.7 inch blade with a black wash cam blade. Aluminum handles, and still, still a really snappy blade. Um, blade still is going to be CPM 154 with kind of that clip point-ish blade. I like to always say, modified clip point. Modified. Just modify it. Just be modified. Right? What and is that? Modified. You do no deep carry, but yeah, you definitely just got one of Kershaw's standard pocket clips, which still fits really well in the, in the pocket. And yeah. All the Kershaw goodness. This is a Kershaw in-house design. That's what that little guy means. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. And then right here on the blade, you have the American flag. So this one's actually made here in America. I like that. So, yeah. A lot of contestants from the United States today. Yeah, yeah there is. And then Whole our plethora. last automatic is going to be the Burnley. It's going to be a Boker Burnley Quaken Compact Automatic. Um, this one... It's actually made by Protec, so you still get all the, the sweetness automatic knife from a Protec. That's nice snappy automatic action with we're looking 154 cm blade still and nice short pocket clip. I think it's kind of standard on most Burnley knives. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of shorter. Jam. Yeah, but nice. Yeah, kind of disappears. Doesn't look like nothing too crazy. Plus, I freaking love Lucas. He's he's a homie. Yeah. He's cool. Good knife mm -hmm. designs. And this, yeah, both of you say... And it's blue! Purchase. And you got that nice blue. How much money's? This one is 164.25. So oh. there, there, there are your contenders. Ah, I'm getting nervous, guys, because I actually like all three of these knives. See, I own an SBR. And I love it. Even, even though I'm left-handed. Oh, this is tough. I mean, essentially, two Protex, almost. Yeah. I feel like I need the... What's that? Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's tough because... You know what? Yeah. Whoa. Oh! The SPR takes the cake for me because it just really just is tender in my heart. I carried a fixed blade for a while. I never had intentions of carrying SPR fixed blade, but the shape really, I really enjoyed in my hand, you know? It, it was a great knife. Um, Protec, always kicking with dang good autos. It does not surprise me that there's two here on the table. Uh, the launch series has been... I mean, they've been gold medalists for years, you know what I mean? It can also be a separate category, a separate sport. Right. I, no joke. Because <laughs> you no can find joke. any launch for anybody. And I love the Quaken, and I love Boker, and all the things. I'm just not really into the blade shape. That's that's what it is I for me. That. So SBR takes the cake for me today. I like it. What do you think? I can agree with that. I like the pocket clip. Yeah, that dude, subtle that, detail in the pocket clip. You is gotta everything. have that flat lay pocket clip. If it's not flat lay, it's in your just pocket, it's not. Yeah, it's not getting caught. It's not. Yeah, it just goes in out. It's perfect. You know what that's called? You know what that's called when it's all perfection. It's called perfection. It's called. <laughs> is that what you're gonna say? It's called happiness in the knife household. It makes us happy. It does. 
Guys. We can stare at it. I'm telling you guys, designers, manufacturers out there, do that. <sighs> Man, flush mount those pocket clips, please. Our denim jeans are begging. I don't know. They're really not. Mine are. Mine always keep ripping. Dude. You and your skinny jeans. No, I'm just kidding. Never. Got, this is like the most off. mountain. I don't know if you guys know this or not. If I know some people do. This is the cougar guy. This is the guy that almost got mauled by that mama cougar. So he's the cougar guy. It's he's almost, got an insane knife collection. It's almost been a year. Come October. It's have, been a year since the cougar thing. Do you have PTSD? No. Do you go to counseling? Do you want to be my counselor? counselor? Yes. You should be my counselor. Yes, and I am going to counsel you to listen to these knives. All right. These are Blade HQ exclusives, guys. Mm. These are the ones that we have been super stoked on. Um, I'm just going to jump right in. Do it. So me and Kyle, we kind of both talked about this, but he's going to be he's going to be the judge on this. So up first, we have got the Civiti Elementum. Now, we had a couple exclusives in the brass and copper scales, uh, one with the black blade, one with the stonewash blade, or a satin, no, it was a satin blade. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's been a freaking hit. You guys love this knife, and I mean, for great reason. It's the Elementum, we hype it all the time because it's legitimately that good. It really is. So. I'm gonna skip all the to-dos of it. Now, one thing on these, I do, I know Ooh. he's got some more of our ex other exclusives. See, this is, why we, this is why we have Kyle, the buyer here. <laughs> he's got the deets. The natural G10 and that green micarta, they both have S35 VN oh, blades instead of the D2. So if you want a little bit more on that blade, I know we do have some of those in stock right now. I do, I want that. A little bit more. $67 on the website. D2 steel, three inch blade, S35 is on the website. This right here is the Pena X-Series Raptor. Mm. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. Looks neat. I think, Never mind. I was gonna say if I could pick one knife off the table, but there's a lot that I'd pick. <laughs> there are a lot of knives. All right guys, Pena Raptor. Now this is just shy of a three inch blade. You've got that Warncliffe tip. It's Bowler M390 steel. You've got the titanium bolsters and, uh, oh my gosh, why did my mind just go blank? Backspacer. Backspacer, pocket clip, and the black micarta. Mm. Enrique is a stellar guy, super humble. Uh, being able to meet him and then see his knives and see his personality come out through his knives is so cool, guys. Really is. Enrique is a stud. I love these knives. I didn't get one of these when we had the first run. Um, <clears throat> I can't wait for us to get those back in. We're getting some back. Yes. Because that one's mine. It is. <laughs> I'm going to try to steal it. $289 on the website now. Kyle, tell us about this beast. Para 2 Tonto Natural G10. Need I say more? I just threw the paper anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we don't have this in stock anymore. Now, this is like some of the coolest exclusives that we've had in the past. We've had a lot of Spider Co. exclusives. Tons in the natural JG10. How can you not want an M4 PM2 Tonto? Yeah, I think they did a really good job on the Tonto. Such a beauty. Oh uh, yeah, M4. I know, right? Natural G10. You can I mean, you can go rip die these if you want to. So, okay, so. place them. It's a good one, dude. Place them, and then I have a, a little secret. Yeah, I think I think the people want to get to the secrets. That's okay. They're gonna have to hear this. Are you ready for this? Yes. Ooh. I feel like a little bit sick <laughs> in my stomach. I'm crushing on my Raptor right now. Oh, I'm crushing on his Raptor too. I've Guys, actually been carrying this actually quite often. Oh, dude, it's so good. So nice, so clean. I love that. A pair this, two for me is a little big. A little big. 
I don't so care. It's in the who, smallest cup. It's in the smallest cup. You know, it makes it look even bigger. I have two element, uh, two elementums, but yeah, I don't really see them that much because yeah, I have other things I got carried. Right, right. When you have a collection like Kyle's, yeah, whatever. whatever. <laughs> okay, I have one to one up this whole gang, and this is something that we wanted to do special for you guys. Um, I'm not exactly sure when we're gonna make them go live. Uh, probably right at the end of this video, Kyle is actually gonna make I will go do it. a select number of we know you dessert want warrior Kalashnikovs. Now we are gonna put up a small number of the full size and a small number of the small size. Now, this is a little teaser because we're trying to let you guys know that these are back and we will have the rest available very soon. So, after the video, make sure you jump over to the site. Obviously, you're gonna wanna search for this beast. Now, to explain where it came from. You guys did this, it's your fault. <laughs> we had so many people on the website searching for the Desert Warrior pattern of Kalashnikovs that a lot of you, uh, I don't know if the spell check was off, but the two S's <laughs> slipped in there. And we were like, you know what? We've had so many searches for this, we're gonna turn it into a knife. And so, boom, there Donuts. you go. All of its glory. Ah. I heard that the Boker Mermaid has one of these. That's her EDC. That's how <laughs> cool that is. So we are going to run a limited number of these shortly after the video. So jump on the site. Hopefully you can grab one. And if not, definitely stay tuned. Hang in there. We are going to be having these on the site soon. Huge, very much excite. We'll have an official launch date for them. So this, they, they should know it's going to be exclusive to wishlist uh, subscribers. That that drop. When we, when okay. we first drop them, yeah. Yes. So yes. hope you guys heard that. Uh, wish list. Wish list. If you're not on the wish list, go put your email in. Jump on the wish list right now. What are you doing? Go do it. Oh wait, wait. Well, Try to win knife. this knife. Yeah, I gotta still give away a wee knife. Do it, Kyle. Give away a knife. All right. At the end of the video, I know they go through links, oh, right? Oh, right. We got to say, sponsored by we. Hey, sponsored by our Big Red Gum, Ricky Bobby. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know why that just came to my mind. That's so funny, though. I love Will Ferrell. He's hilarious. I think I, we're talking Taldane Nights right now. Yeah, that's what that was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think I watched it, honestly, like last night. Dude, that makes me so happy. Oh, speaking of, not last night, but... Today is Kyle's anniversary. Oh my gosh. And guess what else? They just had a baby. So 10 days ago. I, why is he even here? <laughs> he was so excited to come hang out with you guys. We got to guys shout out Kyle in the in the comments. Give him a shout out. Tell him how dedicated he is and how grateful we are for him to be here with us today. It's a knife life. Dude, you know what? You know what they want. They want you to they give away give a knife. Away. We're gonna give away. Can you guess what it is? No. A wee. It's all, yeah, a wee knife. It has got some carbon fiber. I like it. I like carbon fiber. And a 20 CV blade. Ooh. And a front flipper. Oh, I like that. This is the Wii uh, Eidolon. I hope I say that. Eidolon. Right. I was trying to remember how to say it, and I was like, Idol, Idol. Eidolon. 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 This is a Justin Lundquist design. It's kind of similar to a lot of his other things he does. Yeah. Which is super nice. You got a drop point. They do have this one also in a dagger version. Mm hmm And yeah, this one is actually really neat because I believe it's like an integral carbon fiber. I could be wrong, but I think could it be is. wrong. But look at that. You don't but no, I, I was thinking that lines? exact same thing. I think it's an integral piece of carbon fiber all the way through. This is just channeled out. Yes, integral handle. So, confirmed. So integral right. handle. I should have looked at the box before. That's my bad. That might be. I was hiding it. No, I'm just kidding. I wasn't. So, make sure you guys check the link. Uh, Levi is going to leave the link down below. Um, you have until, I think, midnight to sign up 
and see if you will be the lucky winner of this beautiful, beautiful fried Eidolon. flipper. And yeah. look at, ready for this? Look at the pocket clip. <gasps> Perfection. Perfection. <laughs> <laughs> look, it just clean. Guys, I'm telling you, this is a winning, this is a win right here. So check out the link below. Huge shout out to We. Thank you guys. Thank you guys in the comments. Happy we can get you guys on live and get some shout outs to you guys, show you some cool knives and have a good time. You know what I'm gonna do? You should go make those live. I'm gonna make those live. Okay, he's gonna go make those live and I am gonna say sayonara and good night. Thank you for being here live. We'll catch you on the next one. Tip my mouth, so uh, we're still live. It's happening, here we go. <laughs> He's doing it. <laughs> live, they are live right now. Go, 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 go. Go.